<laughs> About a year ago, me and my friends made a lightsaber fight using the free open source software Blender. The first day was just practice to get down the choreography and give me some footage to work with. Spinny, lock, push him back, become more powerful. <laughs> And that's it. My initial idea was to have the computer track the PVC pipe, and I put these little tracking markers on them, but that didn't work. See, the computer can track a dot like this just fine, but when it starts to move around, it gains motion blur, making it impossible for the computer to read. The solution? My least favorite thing in the world, manual keyframing. Here I could take this footage into Blender and make my glowing object a plane that you could move around. Turn on auto keyframing and... With the feeling of success fresh in my mind, I called the crew and we got to work filming the first shot where they run in. I knew I wanted a drone shot as it swooped in, but I kept getting them out of frame. So we put one piece of tape on the ground, actually right here. Crazy that it's still here after like a year ago. Anyways, we put the pieces of tape there so that they could stand on them, so that when I flew the drone in from all the way over, uh, from all the way over here, it would uh, get them both in shot. Okay, I'm gonna leave now because there's people looking at me weirdly. Next, I got some hero shots, which uh, took longer than expected. Then we shot the choreography of the entire fight once from each side, so that we had angles of each character. Luckily, we shot Thomas's side first, because I remember he had to leave. If you look in the shot right here, you can actually tell it's not him. But after filming, now it was time for the hours and hours of tedious work, keyframing every little thing. Okay, I'm done. I finished it off with some sparks, and looking back on it, I probably should have added some motion blur. But then, after adding some music and sound effects, here's the final result. Very high production value.